What's up guys, Shuri here. Today we're going to show you how to use Wasp. Thank you for the help with the intro, J. Kim. We'll come back to you later. But right here we do have a Wasp and Orion combo. I think it is the best combo to use with Wasp. And here's why I think it's so good. As everyone knows, the Wasp can do a ton, and even at far range, you can kill someone even though it'll take a full clip. But where this combo comes in handy is, the fact that you get a speed boost when you have the Wasp out means that you can get them pretty low with the Wasp and then switch to the Orion, get the kill with the Orion, and because you have jockey pants, you are going to replenish your armor over and over again every single time you get a kill. And the Wasp brings in the movement speed, and it also helps you when you're really up close to people. And then you have the Orion after that, and then whenever someone is near you, you can just play Ring Around the Rosie using the speed boost of the Wasp. If they end up getting near you, just use the Wasp up close, which is one of the best up close guns in the game by far. And then, if they do want to do a little bit further away from you, go ahead, pull out the Orion, and kill them easily. And a lot of people see the Wasp as a gun that's really good on its own, and it is if you get really close. But the way you should be looking at it is more of a really enhanced version of Scout. Because it basically is going to get a little bit of damage just to get you in range of where you can go in with your Orion and get those kills. And then if they're up close, then you're going to get the kill with the Wasp just like there. And that's why it's like an enhanced version of Scout. You're just getting places faster and just getting close enough to be able to shoot them with your Orion. And if somebody is unlucky enough to run into you up close... You'll go ahead, wasp them, and try your best to either kill them with a pistol or a knife because that will give you much more bonus points than if you hit body shots. It can end up doubling your score over time. And also, sometimes I will end up switching to my Orion even if they're low. That way I can, one, save some ammo for my wasp, and two, be able to get a merciless or an easier headshot. Because of the spread of the Wasp, it can be hard to get the headshots, but Orion is so OP, it hits headshots so effortlessly and for so much damage that you can always switch to it after using the Wasp, like I said, just like a scout, and getting them just low enough to where you can one-shot them with that Orion and get the headshot bonus points. It saves so much ammo, gives you a ton of points, and it's just super good when it comes to being able to kill very quickly. And right here, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and get the Unstoppable, and all of that came down to the Jockey Pants. Almost all of these kills could not be achieved without Jockey, because we are killing people so quickly that we end up getting an extra 750 armor every time we get the kill, and it just infinitely replaces our armor, which is important, because when you're up close against other people with Wasp, you're going to end up dying kind of fast. But if you have jockey pants on, you can actually stay alive for quite a while. And on maps like this, there are a lot of spots that you can sit to where Orion is at the perfect range to hit headshots the second someone walks in the room. All you have to do is try to stay alert and aware of where they're coming. Usually you can do that by seeing where your teammates are getting shot from and then just act accordingly. All you have to do is make sure that you have your scope where their head's going to be at and you can end up just killing their whole team over and over even if you have the orb and they know where you're at because it literally is just that OP guys. The fact that you can hit for such high headshot damage is absolutely insane. And it is something that's very repeatable. It's a two-shot headshot kill. And a lot of the time, you can get just one headshot kills because you're going to have them low from getting to them with your wasp. And that is why I think these two guns complement each other so well. Orion is definitely the best shotgun at any range. 
range, and Wasp is the best gun up close. So to put these two guns together just makes you absolutely unstoppable, especially if you're going to be running around with the high speed of the Wasp. But one thing to make your scores go higher is to make sure you're getting Blade Masters, Headshots, Merciless Kills, or Grenade Kills, and that's super important. As you can see here, we started out with 20 points, and we ended up getting 134 off the 4 at once. And instead of getting 124 points, if we had all body shots, we would have only gotten 57 points. That is the biggest difference with this gun that's going to make you get a ton of points or get no points. So no matter what, make sure you're getting headshots when you're getting your wasp skills. And if you can't do that, your best bet is to bring out the Orion to get either easy headshots or to get a merciless kill with it, just like we did there. And that will ensure that you're getting good bonus point kills. But another easier option is using consumables and pistols because a pistol kill will also work and it can do just as much. And honestly, with this combo, you can use the pistol a lot, especially this one or Rick's Revolver, I recommend the most. And they work just insanely well together. Either of those pistols will be able to kill people very quickly if you have them low. And another thing is, you can use consumables to get people low in the first place. And with Wasp, I recommend you do that if there's a lot of people. The biggest issue Wasp has is it's not very good when there's a ton of people around because it can get overwhelmed needing to reload. But as you can see there, the throwing knives really helped us be able to get the multi-kill without having to reload and get overwhelmed with our Wasp. Right there, our Wasp got overwhelmed and then we were able to get the kill with the Orion. And then we had another one. Luckily, we had a good frost grenade to be able to get the kill. But another thing that I think you guys should think about using is Last Breath as your sniper. The reason for this is the Wasp gives you speed boost so you don't need a scout. And the cool thing about the Last Breath is that even with no pants, helmet, or specialization helping it get damage, it will hit for 6,000 headshots for 7 seconds after you get a kill with it. And this can really help you when you either run out of ammo or you have some guys that are camping with snipers and you just are using your rush loadout and you need to take care of them. Right here, we're able to go ahead, get the elimination streak and kind of bring our team back in it all because of the last breath. Same thing right here, we get the kill and then we're gonna try to go on for more because remember, we have seven seconds to go ahead and get another one shot kill. The only thing that can stop it is either someone is stimming or they have scorpion helmet on. So do be aware of that, but it's still really nice to have and can work in so many different situations. And honestly, I use this in all of my rush loadouts now, just in case I need it on a map like this. And especially on orb, this thing can dominate. I've gotten so many four at onces just shooting people on different orb maps when they're coming out in the open, all because they get one-shotted over and over. And then I have an undying, so when I'm about to die, I'll just pop that, and it really does work. And then this is the best part. After I sniped all those people just now, I then rush in with my Wasp and Orion because I'm using a rush loadout. And it's really that good. Right here, I'm going to show you guys a full game and then I'll go over the perks and the loadout. But first, a full game because anyone can put some random clips together, but it really needs to be a consistent loadout to put a full game together. And right here, we do end up getting them low and we go ahead, switch to our Orion because it's an easier headshot kill. We were able to get the double. And if you get body shot kills on the first kill, that's fine. 
it's only two points less. It only really matters and is a drastic drop in points if it's on multi-kills or elimination streaks. But right here, we are low and we didn't see anyone coming for a bit, so I figured they had to probably be coming behind us. I did time it correctly and then we got them both in front of us, killed them, and then I saw the last guy. I went ahead, popped my undying, and just used the rest of my wasp clip. That's the best part to me about this loadout. You have the speed boost of the wasp, and then you have the insane power of the Orion. And best of all, if you're able to get a double or triple with your Orion, you can always pull out that wasp and know that you have a free kill because if you have a full clip of wasp, you pretty much have a kill at most distances if you see anyone. And because of your jockey pants, that means your armor has been regenerating on the kills you've gotten previously, and that's why I truly believe everyone should be using jockey on this. If you really need your speed boost for whatever reason, go ahead, use something like Cheetah that can reload better, or preferably Reanimator, which will help your heals do better. But if you want to have a lot better streaks and multi-kills, you're definitely going to want to go with Jockey. You might go slightly slower, but in the grand scheme of things, you actually aren't moving that much slower, and you are gaining so much, it is ridiculous. So I definitely think Jockey's the way to go on this, but I do understand that some people are used to playing with 20% speed boost, so it throws them off if they don't have it. So use your reanimator or cheetah if you have to, but i definitely try Jockey if you can. And you can use other shotguns and do basically the same thing I'm doing here. It's just this has the most accurate headshots and the longest accurate range, so it's definitely the best option. But if you want to use Ranger, Bear Trap, Joker, Pork, anything really will work. Just use it in a similar way. And as you can see, we got 411 on the King of the Hill, which means you can really get some good points with this combo. And if you're not getting body shots, you can really do well with this, which is why I definitely suggest using the Orion. It's so much easier for headshots and merciless kills. But if you don't have Orion, don't worry. You can replace it with anything like a Porcupine, Joker, Bear Trap, Ranger, whatever you got can work in its place. I definitely suggest having the Spark Pistol or Rick's Revolver. I like to use the Antidote Chest, but any chest is fine. I definitely think you should use Jockey, but you can use Cheetah or Reanimator and that can work too if that's what you really need, but please use Jockey. Undying obviously is the best if you have it. If you don't, I think I is probably the second best. Anything past that, it's whatever you're good with. If you want to be a Mirage Wasp person, that is also fine with this combo. And I think that Zeus is the best machine gun, but I don't have any of the gold machine guns. It doesn't really matter that much. You shouldn't be using this too much unless you just run out of ammo. So just put any one you want in there, it doesn't matter but you do have to have the machine gun because it is support class. So last but not least is the sniper, and I definitely think that you should use the last breath or the crossbow. If you don't want to use those, there are many options. Use whatever you want, really. You shouldn't be sniping that much ideally, but last breath can really be good on things like orb, and just some certain sniper maps, and I don't know, it, it does come in handy sometimes. But teach their own, and it's not that important to the combo. It's mostly about rushing with the Wasp and Orion. You just have the luck of having a sniper slot open, so it's fun to try things. And then, also, if you have Kingslayer, you definitely want to use that. It will reload your wasp when you get a kill, when you knife with the Kingslayer. That's so important. If you don't have that, just use the highest level knife you have. But Kingslayer definitely has its advantages. So if you got that one, definitely use it on this. And now for the perks. First up is Tank. 
and that will increase your maximum armor. This is so useful, it will keep you from getting one shot by Kuda one shots or crossbow scorpion one shots, and even some last breath one shots. And the coolest part of all is your jockey does give extra armor based on this perk. So I get like 850 instead of 750. Next up is Marauder. With the Wasp, you're gonna end up needing consumables whenever you run out of ammo in the Wasp. It's the easiest way to get a kill if you're not in knife range. So this will restore your armor by 5.5%. For every enemy hit with a consumable throne and that is super huge because you're already pretty desperate at that point to throw the consumable so the extra armor is definitely needed and next up is patchwork defensive consumables restore 10 percent more armor this is so important so whenever you use any healing consumable including health pills it will give you that armor and if you have no armor, your chest special effect does not actually activate. So if you use a health pill and it gives you that extra 100 armor, it will actually activate your chest piece and give you a lot of frost resist or fire or whatever you happen to have for your chest. And that can end up saving your life. So that is a very big perk. And next up is Fortify. Eliminations with offensive consumables reduce incoming shot damage by 16% for 5 seconds. This again is so helpful when you're using your wasp and you run out of ammo and you have to use a consumable because in these kind of situations you're desperate and it basically gives you a 5 second stem effect and you've obviously killed someone to activate it so you can help get more multi kills by using this. Alright, these are the perks guys. Sorry I talked very slow. I need to make sure that the Google Translate thing works so people who don't speak English as their first language have a better shot at understanding all that stuff. But you know what we don't have to say slowly? How cute Opal is! Because oh my god, he's just so cute! And this dog will whine like he's gotta go out so bad to poop. Like, he's about to poop on the floor is how bad he's whining. And the second we get outside, he just starts rolling around in the freshly laid flower bed. Because why not? I guess he didn't really have to poop that bad after all. Well, darn. Before I let J. Kim take us out of this, I wanted to thank my members and donators for all their support. I really appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. Whenever you see your enemy, pop your undying, let your aim assist work, let go of your right hand so that their aim assist is going to aim for you, and that's all you have to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>